What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about how to farm transmute crystals. I know there's a lot of new players coming into the game. They're wanting transmute crystals, wanting to know how to get a large amount of them. Now, of course, this will depend on how many characters you have because some of these things are based on, you know, what you can get per day per character. So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing, and I would say the easiest thing if you have multiple characters, is doing your daily dungeon. Now, your daily dungeon can be done on normal or vet, and it will reward you with 10 crystals once you complete it per character. I would recommend only doing it on normal because you can do them quicker that way. But just keep in mind, you can play it on vet as well if you were looking for monster hounds or something like that. But once you complete that daily random dungeon, you will get uh, 10 transmute crystals. And like I said, that is per character. You can't go in on the same character multiple times and get transmute crystals. But if you have, for example, five characters, you can go in and do a daily random dungeon five times and get 50 crystals per day. The same kind of goes for battlegrounds. There's only one catch to battlegrounds. You can go in and do your ra uh, random daily battleground and get 10 crystals, but you have to finish in first or second. That does not count if you finish in third place out of the three teams. So you're going to have to finish in the first place team or the second place team to be able to get those 10 crystals. But the same thing kind of stands for battlegrounds as it does for the dungeons. If you have multiple characters, you can do that daily uh, battleground per character and get 10 crystals for each individual character. Another way you can do it when it comes to PvP, of course, is playing in Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil has different campaigns, you know, either the week-long campaigns or the month-long campaigns. As long as you are in a month-long campaign and finish in Tier 1, so that's around 25,000 AP for that month, you will receive 50 uh, transmute crystals at the end of the campaign. So at the end of the month, you will get those 50 in your mail. And if you play the week-long campaigns, you get the, uh, the tier reward there as well, but it's only 10 crystals because, of course, that campaign only lasts for one week. And last but not least, another way you can get transmute crystals in the Elder Scrolls Online is going to be doing your daily Undaunted Dungeons. Now, this depends on the difficulty of the dungeon or how many crystals you're going to get. So we have three Undaunted we can do every day. If you do them all on normal, you're going to get one crystal per dungeon. If you do those on vet, you will get three crystals per dungeon. And if you do them on vet hard mode, you will get five crystals per dungeon. And how you do something on vet hard mode, the final boss, there's always a scroll there. If you read that scroll, that will activate the hard mode and you can get five crystals that way. Depending on what level you are, who you have to play with, whatever the case may be, that's going to kind of vary for you individually. If you can do them on normal vet or vet hard mode, but that is a way that you can get crystals every day as well. And once again, those are per character. So if you like playing dungeons, you can actually go in and do your daily uh, random and do your undaunted on multiple characters and get crystals on each one of those every single day. Those are probably, uh, that's probably the fastest way. Like I said, if you like playing dungeons and you have a lot of characters, if you don't have a lot of characters, I would recommend just doing your undaunted and your daily random every day. If you just have one character do that, you're still going to get a good amount per week. But like I said, it's always a good thing to have multiple characters for a lot of reasons in game. Just try new things out and whatever the case may be. But when it comes to farming uh, transmute crystals, the more characters, the better when it comes to doing your daily random and your undaunted. Just keep in mind, if you are doing your daily random, those do have a reset timer on them. Uh, just make sure when you look at the daily random, you're able to do it again yet. Uh, you will see a large amount of XP uh, when you can do it, and it's going to be a smaller amount when you, you know, it's not, the timer's not reset yet, so just keep that in mind. Also, there are some events throughout the year. Depending on when you're watching this video, there may be an event going on at the time uh, that has uh, transmute crystals as a reward out of some of the coffers, so that is another way you can get them, but that's not something you can do day in and day out. I just kind of want to make this video to let you guys know exactly what you can do every day to make transmute crystals. To be able to transmute something or to be able to go to your transmute station and craft something out of your sticker book, sometimes that is the cheaper option. So make sure you check and see if it's cheaper to transmute or if it's cheaper just to craft it out of your transmute uh, or out of the transmute station from the sticker book. Just keep in mind, you will have to have that trait researched if you're trying to transmute something at the transmute station. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.